Hi, I'm Matthias Reck and I'm here with Pat Gelsinger at Mobile World Congress 2017. Yeah. How are you doing, Pat? Oh, I'm great. I'm great. Uh, you know, I love Mobile World Congress, a great show, high bandwidth, lots of energy, a great place to be. Yeah. There's a lot of buzz around here. What do you feel particularly excited in 2017? Well, clearly, you know, when you come to a show like Mobile World Congress, you sort of have this confluence of the service providers, the devices that connect up to those environments. And increasingly here, it's about the 5G networks and also the new use cases like IoT and the implications of that. So a lot of great stuff going on at the show here and VMware, given our cloud, you know, mobility, AirWatch and our NFV initiative, we have a lot to do here. Now you've got a main stage keynote appearance tomorrow. Tell us a bit more about that. Well, it's a joint keynote with Atos, and Atos has been a great partner of VMware for many, many years. You know, they deliver a lot of our services as a system integrator to many of our customers. But it turns out that Atos is the technology partner for the Olympics. So the keynote tomorrow will be a look at the 2016 Olympics and a look forward to the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo and the infrastructure that we're working to build and how 5G and security and a uh, virtual reality experience will really become expected as part of the Olympics in 2020, how we'll build it, and uh, just a little bit of the vision of what it's going to look like. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm quite looking forward to it. There's a lot of uh, momentum behind uh, the Workspace ONE and the digital workspace category is, is in general. What are you hearing from customers and partners? You know, overall, you know, there's uh, clearly the recognition that uh, the service providers, the telecommunications companies that are here, you know, the devices that hook up to their networks need to be managed and secured. And this idea of really consolidating that, you know, our separation versus the competitors is really seen, I've heard that from multiple service providers, but the idea now of combining that with the entire identity, the full suite of solutions with Workspace ONE is really resonating quite well in this uh, marketplace and their excitement about extending many of those technologies into their IoT offerings as well. It's not just the great things we're going to do over the next couple of years, but a vision that extends probably for the next decade plus. Now, Mobile Congress is the, at the intersection of IoT, you know, mobility, security, NFV. Um, what's your perspective on how those four really come together? You know, it really is, as you say, this confluence of all of those interests in this environment. And uh, clearly the service providers, you know, they're a powerful entity. They're going to put an awful lot of capital in the ground for 5G environments, increasingly built on an NFV architecture. But they got to know that something's going to fill those pipes that they're putting as they're dropping billions in you know, capital and buying spectrum and so on. So they're very concerned about the services that operate on that. So the mobile devices, that matters to them a lot. The use cases like IoT and the you know, amount of uh, you know, demands that that's going to put on their underlying infrastructure. You know, it really does create a wonderful environment and VMware brings a lot to the table here. And we're really grateful to the AirWatch team. They really sort of brought us to Mobile World uh, Congress. And now here in the booth, we have not just VMware, not just the AirWatch, but also Dell Technologies family represented because this is a big boys game. You know, the service provider market, your, your scale matters. And so being able to really show up as the whole Dell Technologies family is really important at an event like this. Now, VMware had a very strong 2016. What do you attribute that to? And where, where do you think momentum is coming from? Well, overall, you know, we, we built momentum as we went through the year. Every quarter sort of got better as we went through 2016. And, uh, you know, the product strength, you know, the new product areas, NSX, vSAN, vCAN, definitely gained momentum as we went through the year. You know, we started to see uplift from Dell, right, as they start selling more of our products. So that definitely gave us some momentum. But probably the most compelling was the broadening of our cloud strategy. And that really helped customers to see VMware as a fundamental part of their strategic future. And if you're being questioned, am I going to buy from you in the future? Am I going to buy less of you? You know, you're sort of in this purchasing category. If you're a strategic part of their future, you're over on this part of the purchasing category. And then deals get bigger, we get them done. You know, it becomes part of as they think about the future. So the IBM, Amazon, cross-cloud announcements all moved us to this side of the ledger and it really was demonstrated in our business as we finished a very good year. Now there's a lot of interest in the Amazon uh, Web Services partnership in particular, right? And um, um, 
it's only part of your cloud strategy. What, what are you hearing from, from customers? How, how are they getting excited about this? Well, clearly, Amazon is the number one public cloud. Coming together with VMware, the number one private cloud, was an industry-shaping announcement. And everybody will all of a sudden say, oh, I get it. I really will have the seamless ability to go from private to hybrid to public cloud services and UVMware sit in the middle of that. You know, that's a very powerful offering. Clearly coming on the heels of IBM and that momentum that we're seeing from them, but then being able to also say through the cross cloud announcement, you know, that, hey, we're going to help you manage any cloud. And essentially VMware in the past gave you hardware freedom, VMware of the future gives you cloud freedom. Essentially, cloud has become the new hardware. And that sort of overall uh, uh, strat strategic positioning has really given us momentum, clearly given us excitement, and the most piece, exciting piece inside of that, of course, is the Amazon offering that we'll be bringing out in the middle of the year. It's been more than half a year now since the Dell EMC merger. Um, how do you feel about the transition so far? Can you give us an update on where you see the synergies for VMware? Yeah, th definitely we feel good about it. And uh, clearly seeing the stock price collapse and you know the, all of the things that we had to manage through with executive departures and joint venture collapse and all of those things created a lot of turmoil that we had to work through. But I'll just say I'm very proud of the VMware team and family. We navigated through those. We're now in a good spot where you know Michael and I, you know, he is just thrilled with how well VMware has performed. The momentum we're starting to see from the Dell sellers, you know, you could sell hardware or you can add software to it and increase the strategic relevance, increase the size of a deal, and increase the margin in the deal. They get excited about that. You know, they, they sort of get it pretty quickly, and as they see their strategic relevance, they're able to have larger deals, more uh, strategic relevance to their customers. So overall, we're just at the start of this flywheel, but everybody's sensing the momentum is really starting to pick up, and I think it's going to be a very good year for Dell as a partner of VMware. It's really exciting, Pat. Thank you so much for being with us, and have a great Mobile Congress 2017. Hey, thank you, Matthias. Always good to be here.